Good morning children today we shall learn about few important properties of the exponents that is laws of exponents we know 3 to the power 3 means 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 but what does this mean look 3 to the power 3 and then it is raised to power 2 what is it exactly well it means multiply 3 to the power 3 two times that is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 two such groups that is total 3 threes in each group that is 6 threes are there so we can generalize if a is any rational number then a to the power m raised to the power n where m and n are whole numbers means a to the power m multiplied by n clear now let us divide 4 to the power 3 by 4 to the power 3 if we divide a number by the same number what is the result the result would be 1 here the bases are same so its result would be 4 to the power 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 it means 4 to the power 0 and this is equal to 1 same way 5 square divided by 5 square is 5 to the power 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 so 5 to the power 0 and it is also equal to 1 so we can say 5 to the power 0 is equal to 1 so we can say any rational number to the power 0 is equal to 1 and any rational number to the power 1 is that number itself for example 4 to the power 1 means only 1 4 that is 4 itself 5 to the power 1 means 5 itself so any rational number say a to the power 1 is that number itself that is a to the power 1 is equal to a now what if we divide 4 to the power 2 by 4 to the power 3 we know 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 so it is 4 to the power minus 1 what does 4 to the power minus 1 mean to understand this let's break 4 to the power 2 divided by 4 to the power 3 as 4 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 4 to the power 2 minus 3 and which is 4 to the power minus 1 on the left hand side two fours get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator only 1 4 is left in the denominator so it is equal to 1 divided by 4 thus we can say 4 to the power minus 1 is same as 1 divided by 4 same way if we divide 2 to the power 4 by 2 to the power 6 we can break it down as 2 multiplied 4 times divided by 2 multiplied 6 times here to simplify from the numerator and denominator 4 twos cancel each other and 2 two twos remain in the denominator so we have 1 divided by 2 square now 2 to the power 4 divided by 2 to the power 6 means 2 to the power 4 minus 6 that is 
2 to the power minus 2. So, we can say 2 to the power minus 2 is same as 1 divided by 2 square. Right children? So, in general we can say any rational number a to the power minus n where n is a whole number is equal to 1 divided by a to the power n where n we know is a whole number. Now what if base is 0? No matter how many times you multiply 0 the answer would be 0. So 0 to the power 2 is equal to 0. 0 to the power 5 is also equal to 0 and 0 to the power 10 is also equal to 0. And if the base is 1, no matter how many times you multiply 1, you get a 1. Like 1 squared is equal to 1 into 1 which is equal to 1. 1 cubed is also equal to 1 and 1 to the power 100 is also equal to 1. Thus, we can say 1 to the power any whole number is 1. You know what all rules we learnt are some of the laws of exponents. According to the third law, if a is a rational number and m is any whole number, then a to the power minus m is equal to 1 divided by a to the power m. So this was the third law. And according to the fourth law of exponents, if a is any rational number and m and n are whole numbers, then a to the power m to the power n simply means a to the power m multiplied by n that is a to the power m n and the fifth law says if a is a rational number other than 0 then a to the power 0 is equal to 1 so that was all about laws of exponents bye bye children